This short video will show you how to make a timeline in Google Docs, like this one here. The first thing to do is to change the page from Portrait to Landscape. By going up to File, down to Page Setup, and then Change to Landscape. To create the timeline, we need to use the drawing tool. So go up to Insert, click on Drawing, New Drawing. Click in there, and that's the canvas we will use to build the timeline. To create the main timeline, click on the Line button, and then click on Arrow. And let's drag our main timeline horizontally across the canvas. There, nice and straight. There's an arrow at the end, and we put the same arrow at the other end. And then we just make it a little bit thicker. No, we don't want it dotted, but we make it thicker. Four, that looks good. So that's our main timeline. To create stages along the timeline, I use the text tool, click on it, and drag a little text box, and type in Jan for January. We select it to make it a bit smaller. We'll go to 10 and we'll center justify it. So there's a label along the timeline. To copy it to make February, click Control C, Control V. And notice I drag it, the red line. At the end of the video, I will show you where you can turn on these alignment settings. So I double click and type Feb. So that's how you make the labels for the timeline. To add a time point, click on the line tool and drag it down to February. Keep it straight, and we have it there. And then we'll put in a little label using the text box again. So this is a timeline for project cycle. So we put in idea generation here, idea. Select all, we'll make that 10 as well. Keep it smaller, 10, idea generation. And we'll center justify it. So there's a time point. If you want to make another one, you can select this and then shift select that, control C, and control V, and then drag it to the next time point. Okay, we'll make this a little bit different. The labels are clashing. We'll select the line, bring it down, select the label, bring it down. Notice the red line to help you guide things. And then this is the next part of the project cycle, uh, selection, idea selection. So that's how you do the time points. You can also add images to your timeline to enhance it. So let's click on the image button. I've searched for light bulb already. Let's use this fella. Select that. He'll appear in the canvas. Okay, big, but we'll make him smaller. We are, and then we drag him over idea generation. Yeah, you get the idea. So we'll save and close our work so far. And there you see the timeline on the Google document. So to go back and finish it off, you can double click and we're back in canvas mode. Of course, you can always put time points below the timeline. So click on that, control C, control V. Let's drag this down here to a next stage. Then copy a label, control, control C, control V. Oops, wrong one. Control C, Control V. Down here. Select that and put in a new label. Here I'm very speedily adding all the other labels and timelines. To make sure the red guideline appears when you move objects, that red line, see it? To make sure that's there, Go to Actions and then just go to Snap To and make sure Guides is checked. That gives you the red line to help you guide.
guiding your objects in place and trying to balance them. Also, if center positioning is very important to you, you can go up to here, use the guides, show a vertical guide, back up here up to the guide and show a horizontal guide. You could use that to put the timeline right in the middle of the canvas if you needed to do that. If you feel this video is of some help to you, please help me in return by subscribing. It takes just a one second click.